Okay, so uh, yesterday I ordered the parts, and today they showed up. They were supposed to be not until next Wednesday, not this Thursday. Um, yeah, not all the parts. The uh, air cleaner is not on the agenda for being here. I guess he, he said, or the parts guy, I think his name is Daryl or Dale? Dale. He said that the uh, parts would be here on Wednesday, and I was rather shocked and surprised that they're here today. So, anyway, I was doing the maintenance that I need to do on this machine. I just got done sucking about 25 pounds of dog hair out of here, which drives me absolutely bonkers. But we just vac I just vacuumed it. Not we. I, Mr. Wesley, did. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get this thing cleaned up. Enough. You can see it all in here. Dog hair and dirt. Um, that's because my dad has his dog in here all the time, which drives me crazy, but hey. It's okay, I don't care. Um, but anyways, next thing on the list of things to do is to actually take that console off of there. And I've already got my wrenches here. I think it's going to take a... I think it's going to be a, a half inch, but it could be a 7 16 so I grabbed them both. Um, and yes, it is a half inch. So what I'll do is I'll just... There's four bolts. When they're tied onto this thing... Um, not tied on, but the... I think the nut, and yes, the nut is welded on the other side of that bar. So, this shouldn't be really anything to to do to get this out of here. So, I'll just take this one off. And I'm not going to do anything fancy with the bolts. I'm just going to set them to the side here as soon as I get them off. So, I will do that. And you can, and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to set it to the side. Okay, so I've got this thing disconnected now. I'll just kind of prop you guys up like that as I lift it off of there. Uh, I'm just going to set it to the side. It's not that difficult of a thing, really. I don't think it was, but well, maybe it is. Who knows? And there, and that's it. Now it give me. I thought it would give me a little more room in here, but who knows? Maybe I'll just set it up like that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so, now, what's the next step to get this thing apart? There's a couple of things that I could do, I think. Uh, because I don't have a manual. Um, I'm almost certain that I'm going to have to take the seat tray off the top of the adjuster. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I hope I'm going to do that right now. It looks to me like it's going to be a, a pain in the ass for me. Which is pretty normal. I'm used to pains in the asses. You know. Right, Tim? <laughs> uh, you're not even hearing. You're just hearing me. You're not seeing me. Uh, anyway, uh, here we go. Well, we could do it this way. Maybe you can check me out this way. Yeah. There's only four bolts, I believe. Did you hear that? So anyway, I got, I'm kind of going to reflect a little bit on a visit that I had with 63 Impala 2 door. And I got to talk about a couple of things that we discussed. And I haven't said anything about them. But I like 63 Impala 2 door. It's actually 1963 Impala 2 door. Really good guy. Actually, I don't go visit people that I don't like. So, if I visited you, that means I like you. Not in a gay way, but in a, you know, friendship kind of way. Um, yeah. And I'm sure Ken would get a kick out of that comment, too. But, he, uh, we were talking about views and how many views I get when... I post a video. What the fudge is this thing? This isn't making any sense. Um, I post a video and part, I get pretty good views pretty quickly. Um, like almost immediately I'm up around that 20,000 mark within a, you know, within a day I got 20,000 views which is pretty damn awesome if you ask me. 
Uh, but what Ken was saying, and I kind of backed it up because I thought it was funny, as he says, you can make a video of you farting and get 20,000 views. And uh, I had to laugh, too, because I was thinking about it, which is kind of sick, but I was thinking about making a video of me make, taking a, you know, just farting and seeing if I could get 20,000 views, but I don't think you people want to hear that. So, I'm going to employ Timothy to fart. Right, Tim? He's not even here. But now nah, we're not going to do that. But I just thought it was kind of funny and worthwhile to share. And, uh, I think he's probably right. I didn't think I was ever that interesting of a person that people would watch me fart on video. But it could happen. You never know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to struggle with this thing for a while. Did you get it out? I want you to start the thing up and then uh, see if it goes click, 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 click. Use the hydraulic starter. That's the middle one. You push it down. If it doesn't start, fire it off the bat. Put it, push it up. Quick, click it up and then push it down real quick. Click it down. And that should do it. Oh, Jesus. That thing has got to be heavy. Huh? He said that thing has got to be heavy. It's not really. It's awkward. As Haley would call it, an awkward potato. It's an awkward potato. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Again. 
this job was pretty easy. I just, uh, oh, you just kind of got to use your, your mind a little bit sometimes. Oh, my chin, I just whacked it with this freaking wrench. So anyways, what I'm saying is, to do this, to do this job, you just got to use your brain, that's all. It's not really that difficult. Um, I'm just going to tighten these bolts up and hold this whole thing together. And I'm going to say it's a job well done, because I think my seat feels good. Now, the problem is, we're going to put Dad in here, it's 300 pounds, so that's going to be hard. Okay, so I've got everything back together again, and I have... I have completely uh, rebuilt this seat. Not completely, but I, I put all the new reef needle bearings and rod bearings. I gotta get the twine, you bonehead. You might want to close those down. Go carry them. Carry them. Come on. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> he thinks I'm going to let him drive that thing with those wings up on that baler. Well, he's got another thing coming because it's like probably $20,000 worth of fiberglass if he broke it off. But anyways, the seat is good. I'm going to shake it a little bit here. doesn't do its wobbly thing anymore. The whole cab shakes because it is on suspension. Um, you can sit in it and it actually does feel pretty good. I'm sure my dad will be happy. Um, yeah, so this job is done. Uh, this is a... The video probably isn't that great. <coughs> Thanks for sticking in there with me because I'm standing on my head trying to do this and camera angles... There's no good way to put a tripod up. I have to go buy a real one from, say, Walmart, but... Uh, oh boy. Gotta deal with that too. Alright, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.